as I have said at the beginning, this month, especially we hear the gospel from the, uh, the gospel of Mark. And today is a very, very uh, beautiful gospel passage. Jesus wants to cure our spiritual blindness. Throughout the Bible, we see many times Jesus is curing the blindness, external blindness. Whatever the Lord spoke through his words, actions, has got a deep spiritual meaning. And this journey Jesus started towards Jerusalem, at the beginning of this journey, he started with another miracle. Mark chapter 8, verses 22 onwards, we hear that. Jesus cured a blind man. And that curing is very interesting. Jesus first prayed and he asked, what do you see? He said, I see men, but they look like trees. And again, Jesus prayed. And the word of God says, he started seeing things clearly and distinctly. This is a spiritual journey. In our life also, once we come to the Lord, our internal eyes will become more and more open. We also will start seeing things clearly and distinctly. And today, Jesus reached Jericho. Very interesting, geographically very important place. Because Jericho is a place um, made 850 feet below the sea level. And um, a lot of inhabitants, it's an old city. And people, you know, some of you have visited Holy Land. You know, it's, it's a very important place. That's just before the last stop before reaching to Jerusalem. And this is this the particular place this beautiful thing happened. The word of God says this person started shouting, Berthamus. His name was Berthamus. He started calling Son of David. In the Bible, the first time a first person is addressing to Jesus with that title, Son of David. That means just simply, you know, someone, the descent of David. He started shouting, Son of David, how pity on me. In the Psalms, we see Psalm 51, 1 to 3. How mercy on me, O oh God, how mercy on me, how pity on me. And this person started shouting, how mercy on me, how pity on me. And many started scolding him, keep quiet. Again, connected with our spiritual journey, there is a time we also have to pray to the Lord, how mercy on me. And we don't know that duration of that period. It can be one minute, one day, or sometimes months we have to pray, have mercy on me, O Lord. Then Jesus knew everything. Sometimes Jesus allowed us to know our own human effort, our willingness, our faith. Jesus constantly tests. And after some time, uh, many said, keep quiet. We have so many other important things. You are not an important person here. But Jesus stood there. Jesus said, call him. And Jesus could have called him directly. A birth abuse. But Jesus was not doing that. Jesus said to the same people, told him, Keep quiet. Jesus told them, call him. It's very significant. 
So now Berthamus is coming. Very. Berthamus was so excited, he jumped towards Jesus. And Jesus asked this beautiful question. What do you want me to do for you? This question cuts across the centuries and come to us today, June 1st, 2023. Jesus is asking to you and me, what do you want me to do for you? It's a very important thing. That's a very, very significant, very powerful question. The month of June, the whole month, we especially pray, dedicated to the sacred heart. And this connected with the heart, we can pray, Lord, I want to see. I want my inner eyes need to be opened. Ephesians 1, 16 to 20, St. Paul speaks about that, our internal eyes. So here, this wonderful man said, Lord, I want to see again. That's the correct translation. I want to see again. That means once he had a vision, we all had. And after some time, because of the, our own failures, sins, we become blind. We are blind. Every time when we come to the Mass, we also have to shout like that birth amuse. Lord, I want to see you. I want you to cure my blindness so that I may see you more and more. Like St. Therese of Child Jesus, no other throne, no other crown, but you, your face, your face is my homeland. That's the beautiful passage we heard. Perhaps during this Mass, this month, we can pray to the Lord, Lord, I want to see again, more and more clearly, your face, your beautiful face.